clip number two on how to write chapter four data analysis and results. We are talking about section four of chapter four. Section four is the resource of satisfaction. of your students or teachers or in terms of your other products communication communication programs tv programs or radio programs you can ask the the audience satisfaction as well okay there are the form in each form there will be items for example, in regard to teaching in a package, you may ask them uh, satisfaction on pre-test and post-test you know, or coping with experience. Uh, satisfaction on orientation. Satisfaction on lesson plan. So on and so forth. Okay. Then you ask satisfaction of your students or your customers in case your innovative prototypes are not lesson packages. Maybe piece of communication art. Then you may ask then you may write the items to ask the satisfaction of your audience, your customers. Okay. Now, section five of chapter four is the testing of hypothesis in case you have hypothesis. Of course, when you when we talk about hypothesis, there are two types. The one is the descriptive hypothesis. You don't need statistics. You just need evidence to show the answer that you provide beforehand. Okay. And the second one is the use of statistical hypothesis. So usually, the hypothesis of teaching package may be First, number one, students, achievement, student learning achievement increased from pre-test to post-test at so on so level, significantly at the 0.05 level or 0.1 level. Okay. Or uh, the resource of the efficiency between process and product or E1 to E2 at the 9090 level, 85, 85 level. The first 90 is process, the second 90 is the product, 85, 85. 80 and 80, something like that, okay? And then you may set the hypothesis on satisfaction that the students and teachers are satisfied at their learning from your package at what level? High or moderate level? Or in other innovative prototype, when you produce a television program or a video program, you make use of hypothesis. The same thing. When they view your TV program, they learn better. And when with your video program, 
presents the knowledge and know-how. What is the efficiency? Using E1 and E2 process by product, the same thing. And the last one, what is the satisfaction after watching your video program or TV program? Okay, details of this will be discussed when you really work on it. Okay. Now we go to chapter 5. Chapter 5 is the research finding. Now in this chapter you present the detail, the final prototype, the final work. Okay. It should comprise first executive summary about one or two pages, one, two or three pages. And then uh, section one of the, your innovative prototype should be introduction. You should provide the information, the background information, objectives of your innovation, not objective of your research. The steps or procedure for you to produce these innovative prototypes you may follow the seven steps and explain in detail each step. And then section two is the detail of your research time, the detail of your system, of your model, or of your work, of your TV program, radio program, in this, in case you present the model or system, you may have to present components of your prototype, your innovation, steps, one, two, three, four, five, of your innovation, and then the flowchart showing the loss cost that we call systems model. Okay. This is section two of your chapter five. Now, section three, implementation of your innovation. In this section, there are three topics. First, administrative commitment. In order for the programs you produce, the innovation you produce, you have to identify what the administration of your institution should do in terms of policies, declarations, announcements, to make sure that your work will be in the mind of the management or administration. Second, preparation. the infrastructure, equipment, facilities, and personnel. Number three of this section is conditions for success. You have to itemize one, two, three, four, five. 
the condition that you need to bring your innovation into practice. Okay. Then, chapter five may need may need uh, to have some appendixes and nexus. This is not the index or appendix for your research at the end of research, but at the end of chapter five. These should include samples of your work, the script of your television program or TV program, laws, policies, strategic plan, uh, result of the survey and need assessment step by step. Okay. Especially if it involves teaching practice, we need the manual. You may put the manual at the appendix also. Okay, so uh, this video clip presents the structure of Chapter 4, Data Analysis and Research Result. And Chapter 5, Research Findings. Be sure you the detail of your finding according to dependent variables based on objectives, research questions, and also the test, the testing of hypothesis. So I will stop it from here. You study more in detail when you come up to the time. You really do your research. Okay, thank you for your attention. Good luck.